Welcome back, guys, to another video. Today, we are discussing this smoothie heard around the world. Yes, today, we are looking at the story of a Merrill Lynch advisor who had an awesome job, you know, he had it all made, and he threw... This is basically a life-ruining speed run here by this dude in Connecticut. Uh, what happened was, his name is James... He's Italian, huh? James Inarazio. I don't know. Hey, I'm Italian. Come on. You mess up my order, you get a smoothie in the face. Come on. You know the deal. Uh, sorry. Italiophobia is, is a is That's a crime, so we have to be uh, respectful of our Italian uh, peers here. But um, anyway, the, the description is raise awareness. He was saying, ra uh, you know... Uh, Bad words, uh, R word, uh, S word. I don't know how to describe this without getting yellowed. Uh, uh, he was being a racist. Okay, let's just say it straight up. Screaming at the co workers uh, for a minute before she started recording. So let's just watch the video. This has been going around the internet for a while. And let's enjoy this uh, life ruining speed run. Okay, here we go. I have no room to yell at us. I want to speak to the fucking person who made this drink. Is that you? No, well, it wasn't We don't know me. who made it, so... You don't know who made it? There's four of us here, so we honestly don't know. Fucking stupid, fucking ignorant high school kids. Okay, bye. So, first off the bat, of course... Actually, it's really cool how they... None of them throw the one who made it under the bus. This is like Ryan Kavanaugh looking for thrust. I mean, we're all thrust at this point. Um... Yeah. I mean, these are just kids working uh, minimum wage jobs in high school. He said it himself, you know. Okay, bye. I want to speak to the fucking Bye. Man. Okay, you can call corporate whatever you want. Goodbye. Jam, stop. You're on camera. 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 No, I don't care. Give it to me right now. Yeah. What? Where did you go? Oh, you're fucking. I'm calling the police. I'm calling the police. Grown ass man, Merrill Lynch, dude. This guy has like a a um, he was a financial advisor. You know, I like my financial advisors like I like my Jamba Juice smoothies. Cool, okay. I don't want a hothead. I don't want a hothead doing really anything for me, to be honest. How old is this guy, man? He's got to be in his fifties, late fifties, I'm guessing, fighting with a high school girl throwing smoothies. I don't know how you make it this deep in life and be this dysfunctional, right? Like, he has achieved a high status. And yet, he's so dysfunctional. He's so angry. He's screaming racial uh, uh, insults. Pretty incredible how, how you can get through life being like this. I want the fucking telephone. Get the fuck right out! Do you understand? I want the telephone. Shut the fuck up. That girl's pretty brave, man. That guy's acting real scary right now. So shout out to the blue sweater girl who's standing her ground. Bye. Shut up. You shut up. You're not going to tell me to shut up. The fuck? Who are you? Who are you? you fucking immigrant loser. What? Oh, so yeah. So I don't know why he called her an immigrant. She sounds American to me. Like, that's just low blow, man. That's just some bullshit, dude. Insecure white man syndrome. Gotta go to the immigrant shit. Dude, that girl is American as you, dude. Okay. Immigrant. I love that. It's like, dude, you're you're Irish. You weren't born here. James. You know what I mean? Shit. Love that. People who talk about immigrations, dude. Shut up, dude. We're all immigrants. I can't get over that. Like, that, that's an insult. It's so weird. You! Get the, get the fuck, fuck out. out! Get the fuck out! Get the fuck out! You're going to jail! You're going to jail, you racist piece of shit! Then he's trying to break down the door. It's actually quite scary. If I was one of those... Bro, call the police now. I'd be scared as heck. Um, that's the video. Okay. And so... At first, I was like, damn, that smoothie must have really sucked. Like, what, did they put salt instead of sugar or something? Of course, the Twitter warriors went went straight to work to identify him and find out everything <laughs> there is to know about the guy. I mean, that's 
kind of the beauty and the scariness of the internet. In this case, beautiful, I guess. They found the guy. It's your boy. It's your boy, James Ilinazo, eh? Hey, take that immigrant ass and get out of here. Unlike me, my Italian heritage is, I was born here, okay? See, uh, wealth management advisor. Come on, dude, you're going to throw your life away over a smoothie? Since joining Merrill Lynch Wealth Management, let me see if you guys can see this. Um... In 2015, I've worked with a loyal and growing number of clients whose lives demand fluency in a wide range of wealth considerations. Uh, disclaimer, I, I am a smoothie aficionado, so please, if you mess up my smoothie, I will come after you and your family. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so anyway, I started learning more about... Do you guys love this when there's like a total? <laughs> do you, what do you guys think about this? This guy goes viral for throw for throwing smoothie, and then the internet is like straight up. I'm going. I'm about to ruin this man's life. Um. Oh, is this the girl? But he did get arrested. Was the update. I don't know if she gave it to you, but he did get arrested, and he did get charged with like breach of peace and stuff, but. According to them, it's not considered assault because I'm not hurt in any way. But I, the update, okay. I don't know if he gave it to you, but... He Definitely got arrested. He got fired as well here. Uh, breaking news. The man was arrested for intimidation based on bigotry. He's also been fired. Our company does not tolerate this kind of behavior. We immediately investigate and have taken action. This individual is not uh, no longer employed at our firm. Yo, dude, we do not tolerate the throwing of smoothies. Okay, buddy. Well, the story, I guess there's a little t there's a little bit more to it. I learned uh looking into this. Apparently what ha why he was so angry because one of my confusions was like, dude, I get it. There's too much banana in it. Like, damn, bro. It's just a smoothie. What happened was um his his child has a severe nut allergy and he asked them not to put peanuts in the uh, smoothie and there was peanuts in the smoothie. They put peanuts in the smoothie and his child had to be rushed to the hospital to be treated for a severe allergic reaction. So, like, at least there's that context for why he was so mad. His son, yeah, it was his son, was taken to the hospital. What I want to know about my, our dear friend James, he, Lazanzo, Lanazzo, eh? Hey, come on, uh. I'm a fresh, I'm a, I'm a I'm an American, uh. We don't tolerate immigrants here. Uh, only Italians, eh? Love the immigrant shit from the uh, Italian. So, son went to the hospital. What I don't understand is, A... Dude, you're going to a Jamba Juice, okay, with your son who has a severe allergy. You're expecting minimum wage workers, high school students, to know that your son is so allergic to peanuts that if he takes a sip of a smoothie, he's going to have to go to the hospital. I think you got to be... You gotta be extra careful, right? If that's the situation you're in. I mean, probably just don't go to the smoothie place with the peanuts. Or, what did they order a, a smoothie that has peanuts in it and then ask for no peanuts? I mean, don't order that one, right? A little risky. You know, I mean, he should be with his son worrying about his son in the hospital instead of raging over there and trying to freaking attack uh, high school girls. Let me read this article a little bit. He demanded to know who made the drink. The employees did not answer. He became irate and proceeded to yell expletives. When workers told investigators that Ianzo asked for no peanut butter in his drink, but he did not specify the request was because of an allergy. So that's kind of a big deal. I think he's angry because he messed up, dude. You messed up, dude. You got to be specific. If you have a life-threatening 
allergy, you got to be extra careful. Uh, a video posted on social media allegedly shot by one of the employees during the conversation showed a visibly enraged Ianzo I- 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 screaming and violently threatening three female employees. In the video, he could be seen throwing a drink at one of the employees who was behind the counter screaming at him. At one point, he could be he could hear calling a normal American girl, I guess simply because she wasn't white, an immigrant loser. That's his self-report. This guy definitely has a tiki torch in his backyard. You know what I'm saying? The employees asked him to leave. He continued to curse at them. Police sergeant uh, told the Washington Post on Monday that the video posted online appears to be a full depiction of the whole incident. He added the police obtained a copy of the original video, which was recorded by one of the employees. Um, He was trying to open a locked door to enter the employees only area. That's not good. What are we going to do back there, dude? Um, a spokeswoman for Robex, okay, so not John Baju, said Monday that they are still investigating what happened to the order in question, but added there's an allergy notice posted in store on printed menus and is available online to provide full ingredient transparency for guests. We take very seriously any concerns about order accuracy who have allergies. Yeah, I mean, look, dude, if you're going to take a, if, if you can touch, if, if you touch a peanut and have to go to the hospital, you got to kind of look out for your own safety, right? With peace and love. Accidents happen. Okay. You're just going to have to expect accidents are going to happen. She's not trying to kill your son. He says, uh, when faced with a dire situation for her son, Mr. Ianzo, parental instincts kicked in and he acted out of anger and fear. They said, he is not a racist individual and deeply regrets his statements and actions during a moment of extreme emotional distress. Mm, He might actually be a racist. If that's what you go to when you're angry to someone who's simply just not white, you might be a racist. Just saying. Just saying. So, boy. Speed run ruining his life, eh? Imagine how his son feels when he wakes up out of his, like, peanut coma. He's like, I'm alive. And dad's like, yeah, well, I ruined our life. Sorry, son. There's actually here the police report I got. Apparently, there's some interesting additional details in here. I'm going to read for you guys. Let's see. Pull this up. The smoothie heard round the world. Let's see. Okay, here it is. Um, on the 22nd, the police officers received numerous calls from employees at Robex. Reporting customers throwing things, yelling, and refusing to leave. An investigation revealed that approximately one... PM James Ianzo. Wait, he was born in 73, so he's not that old. It's like 50 or something. A fearful made a purchase at Robux and left the store without incident. Uh, 30 minutes later, he called 911 requesting a EMS response to his home for a juvenile suffering an allergic reaction and was later transported to a hospital. Short time later, he returned and confronted the employees. I mean, dude, really? Just look after your son. Why you got to go back and be like, who made this? I'm going to beat your ass, dude. I mean, seriously, dude. I think the lesson is just don't, you know, probably don't order smoothies when your kid dies from breathing a peanut fume. Uh, Yelling at them and demanding who he wants to know who made the smoothie, which contained peanuts. When employees could not provide him the information, he became irate, yelling at the employee, using a number of expletives. He threw a drink at an employee, which hit their right shoulder. The employee reported that they had no complaints of pain or injury. Ooh, I'd be like, yo, my shoulder is dislocated. I'm, uh, I'll never recover from the smoothie hit. Lawsuit. Ianzo also made comments towards an employee referencing their immigration status. That's such a polite way to put it. As if he was like, yo, can I ask what your immigration status? Are you are you working illegally? May I uh, see your, your papers? Ianzo was told to leave multiple times by the employees who remained inside and continued to yell insults at the employees. Uh, Ianzo then attempted to open a locked door that led to employees' only area where the employees were behind the counter. Ianzo left the scene prior to police arrival, but was identified shortly after. Ianzo turned himself into the police without incident. That's good. Ianzo told the officer he was upset about his son having an allergic reaction and went back to the store as a result. During the investigation, employees reported... 
Daddy Yonzo never told them about the peanut allergy, but had only requested there be no peanut butter uh, in his drink. And yeah, of course, I, I believe that, you know. These kids aren't trying to hurt anybody. They're just trying to earn a few bucks, man, during their summer. You know, these kids are in school. They're trying to earn a few bucks, dude. This is way above their pay grade. James Ianza was arrested and charged. Intimidation based on bigotry or bias in the second degree. Breach of peace, criminal trespassing, and he was issued a court appearance. Pending charges. So this is your boy. Well, I don't know what's the lesson here. Obviously, I'm glad his son's okay. Horrible what happened to his son. I think that if you have that severe an analogy, you have to be responsible looking after your own health and not minimum wage high school workers. Um, also, I think it means that there are a lot of people with high status jobs who are total psychopaths. So that's comforting, right? You know, like that. And James, James Ianzo, the ultimate... Settler of America. He he has indigenous blood. He's a hundred percent a Cherokee. That's the credentials you would need to question someone's immigrate status, in my opinion. Uh he doesn't look Cherokee, in fact. Come on, I'm Italian. What are you, some kind of immigrant? Unlike me. My family was born here. Only white people can't be immigrants, am I right? Anyway, uh, there's the story. So that is the life-ruining speed run in one short smoothie incident. Um, this man has thrown it all away. He'll get back on his feet, though. Don't you guys think, like, this will blow over. He'll get a job at another place. We'll forget that he's the smoothie guy, and he'll, he'll get on with his life. And uh, hopefully someday we'll see another video of him uh, throwing another smoothie at someone. Maybe a coffee, right? Hey, can I get the peanut? Uh, can I get the peanut frappuccino? No peanut. Hey, there's peanut in my frappuccino. Don't order the drink with the peanuts, dude. Don't take that risk. Anyway, that's it. It's a short one, eh? Just a little bit of a goof, a little bit of a uh, bumper there for y'all in the morning. All right. Take care, everyone. Wow. Great moves. Keep it up.